Hello, welcome to Dell's technical marketing video series. Today we are going to talk about some newly added features in the 5.0 firmware release for Dell PowerConnect M8024K, M6348, and M6220 blade switches, as well as for PowerConnect 7000 and 8000 switch series. The new 10 or 40 gig 8100 platform will also support the 5.0 feature set that we will be discussing. This video is intended as a quick introduction to the new features added in the 5.0 firmware release that network administrators will find useful. The enhancements offered by the 5.0 firmware cover a wide range of improvements, but we will focus on the following key areas of security, operational capabilities, solution optimization, and some specific support designed for the PowerConnect 8100 switch series. The 5.0 firmware has some special features specifically designed for the PowerConnect 8100 switch series. One of these features is the IEEE 802.1 QBB or Priority Flow Control or PFC for short. This standard is responsible for dividing up a physical Ethernet link into as many as eight different logical Ethernet links or classes of services and then manages the flow control on each of the classes independently. Traffic on any of these eight PFCs can be paused and resumed independently in any order and combination without causing a major effect on the entire Ethernet line. Another important feature is IEEE 802.QAZ or Enhanced Transmission Selection or ETC that defines how much bandwidth can be assigned to each of the PFCs. It prevents a single traffic class from using all the bandwidth and starving other classes. The bandwidth assignment is in percentages. For example, if 10% of a 10 gig link is assigned to an iSCSI PFC, a guaranteed minimum of 1 gig is assigned to that PFC. When a given PFC doesn't fully utilize its allocated bandwidth, the bandwidth is available to other classes or PFCs. The combination of PFC and ETS features ensure a lossless Ethernet service for certain classes of traffic such as iSCSI. The 5.0 firmware enables 40 gigabit communications and stacking capability over QSFP ports as well as SFP Plus ports. Up to six PowerConnect 8100 series switches can be stacked in any combination via front 10 gigabit Ethernet ports or 10 gigabit or 40 gigabit expansion modules. The entire stack can support up to 384 10 gigabit Ethernet ports with the maximum speed of 160 gigabits per second and can be managed by a single IP address. This 5.0 firmware guarantees the ease of use of any out-of-box PowerConnect switch in an Equalogic iSCSI environment with basically no required configuration and zero manual intervention. When connecting a Dell Equalogic iSCSI array to an out-of-box PowerConnect switch such as an 8100 series, the switch is able to automatically detect any active Equalogic array attached directly to its ports and configure itself for use with the iSCSI protocol and tracks iSCSI sessions. The switch recognizes the appearance of an active Dell Equalogic array on its port via Link Layer Discovery Protocol, or LLDP, notifications. After detecting an active Equalogic array, the switch enables flow control and jumbo frames on all its ports and enables the spanning tree port fast and disables the unicast storm control only for the ports that are directly attached to an active Equalogic array. The security features are the other key areas of focus on the new 5.0 firmware, which include administrative profiles that give the administrator the ability to assign up to 64 different profiles for management access to users. The administrator can also assign up to 256 lists of permits and denies rules to each profile. Authentication, authorization, and accounting, or AAA, enhancements add support for exec and per command authorization to the CLI. Exec authorization will determine the privilege level of the user, and per command authorization will check each command which only supports with Terminal Access Controller Access Control System, or TACAX Plus. TACAX Plus provides access control for network devices via one or more centralized servers. Adding support for accounting enables administrators to now track resources and perform audits as needed. Creating a private VLAN is also a new feature of the 5.0 firmware. Private VLAN provides a layer 2 isolation between ports within the same broadcast domain and partitions a standard VLAN domain into a set of subdomains. It supports promiscuous, isolated, and community port roles. Community ports are able to communicate among themselves and with their promiscuous ports. An isolated port is able to communicate only with endpoints connected to its promiscuous ports. The last key area is operational capabilities, which include an IPv6 enhancement, which provides support over out-of-band interfaces, enabling discovery and server management using IPv6. Another added operational feature is Unidirectional Link Detection, or UDLD. UDLD is a forwarding anomaly in Layer 2 communication channel in which a bidirectional link stops passing traffic in one direction. 
UDLD must be enabled on both sides of the link in order to detect a unidirectional link. An example for UDLD, switch B receives traffic from switch A on its port. However, switch A does not receive traffic from switch B on its port. UDLD detects the problem and disables that particular port. Local preferences for link aggregation is another added important operational capability in the 5.0 firmware, which is used for topologies where lag is split across stack units. In this scenario, the known unicast traffic from the closet switch 3 to closet switch 1 does not cross the internal stack link when the lag has members on the local unit. The compatibility matrix shown in this slide summarizes the supported functionality on PowerConnect products. Except the 40 gig stacking and ETS and PFC features designed exclusively for PowerConnect 8100, the rest of the PowerConnect families in the chart support other features.